Hey everybody, welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. Because of the coronavirus, school has been cancelled and they also cancelled all the reptile expos and it's a little too cold to look, go out and look for animals. There's nothing to do so why not read? My dad got me these books and because I do stuff on animals, they're animals. All the books are about the reptiles and amphibians of Pennsylvania to help me identify creatures that when I'm out in the field. This is the reptiles and amphibians of Pennsylvania and the Northeast textbook. It's like a college textbook. There's small pictures and then there's words. So it's a little bit beyond my reading level and also not very convenient to take outside when I'm looking for stuff. This book is the Pennsylvania Amphibians and Reptiles of Pennsylvania book by the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission and there is more pictures. Some of the pictures are drawn while the other pictures, let me find one, are photographs. It's more convenient to read at home but it's still not that convenient to take outside when I'm looking for animals. These books are pocket guides to the reptiles and amphibians of Pennsylvania and there is one for salamanders, lizards and turtles, snakes, and frogs and toads. I would like to tell you who wrote the books and also took the pictures but it's so long and I don't want to do it. This is what the books look like on the inside. There's a lot of pictures and there's a little bit of description and blah blah blah. So they're very convenient to read and also very convenient to take outside when I'm looking for animals. Let's see what my animals think about the books. Peso gives this book a rating of five out of five worms. Fluffy gives this book a rating of 5 out of 5 carrots. Since Fluffy was reading the book about turtles and lizards, Mushu was stuck with reading frogs and toads and he gives it 5 out of 5 crickets. BB Snake gives this book 5 out of 5 mice. So a recap on all the books. This book is a giant textbook and it's really only for people who want to learn academically about the animals. This book is a good book to read but not that good where you're going to want to take it outside and take it everywhere you go. These books 
are not only good to read inside, but they're also very convenient to take outside when you're looking for reptiles and amphibians. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.